So Tank Davis, he said this. Someone on your team, what's the thought behind it? He's a bigger fighter. He's a bigger fighter and he's only growing. Why would I fight somebody that's already, he come, you see how, he was coming from like 170, 180. Why would I, why would I try to, I mean, uh, not have a, uh, uh, rehydration uh, clause in that. So you could go back up to 150, 160 around the uh, time we fight? No, I'm not dumb. People want you to be a dumb, dumb ass. That's not, that's not being smart. Now, after hearing what he had to say in regards to why he put a rehydration clause on Ryan Garcia, I'm, 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 I just don't get it. Because it's not like it's a situation to where uh, it's a guy that's two weight classes up meeting you in the middle and you want to make sure he's not rehydrating uppers of 20 pounds, 15 to 20 pounds, something like that, right? Nah, this is the dude who campaigned in the same weight division that you campaigned in. I'm not quite sure. See, the rehydration clause does nothing but put in a built-in excuse. So now this is what everybody's going to be talking about, leading all the way up into this fight until it, even after it happens. Now, if Ryan Garcia wins, that makes his victory that much greater, right? Because when you wet, when you got a rehydration clause on you, Ryan Garcia more than likely is going to be a weakened fighter. Unless he's prepared correctly, he got some good people with him. Um, but and if he's not prepared correctly, he's going to be a weakened fighter everywhere. His punch resistance, his punching power, everything's going to be affected. I mean, come on, Tank. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm a Tank fan, and, and this, this this does nothing. But so if he wins, now I got to defend the fact that he put a rehydration clause on him. I don't feel like having to do that shit, bro. You know, if Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather never put rehydration clauses on guys. Floyd Mayweather fought guys um, on fight night. They was up for anywhere from 10 to 15 sometimes, the close to 20 pounds, heavier than him. You know, um, I've seen many instances where a guy rehydrated to to damn near 20 pounds. Example, um, Nayo Inoue and Onizo Donaire. Donaire was like 20 pounds heavier than Nayo Inoue. Guess what Nayo Inoue did? He still went out there and, and got the job done. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not really looking for no, oh, he's a bigger fighter. He's a bigger fighter. He, he's growing. If you can beat him, go beat him, dog. It's not like it's a dude that's two weight classes up. You fought Mario Barrios, 140 pounder, who's now 147 pounder, who just beat the crap out of Giovanni Santiago. Mario Barrios, I, 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 I will, I will wager that he's bigger than Ryan Garcia. And you fought him when you when you was fighting him. You said, "Oh, the weight don't matter." But when it comes to Ryan Garcia, oh, the weight does matter. Look how big he is. He's a growing and he's getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tank, bro. And I see a lot of fans co-signing it. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Because I'm all about shooting a fair one. I understand that the business comes to the play. I understand that he's the A-side. You got to, in boxing, you got to kind of bend the knee to the A-side's demands if that A-side fighter is some type of diva. I get it. But once all that business stuff is out the way, man, let's get in the ring and see who got the better hands. Nah, bro, you don't want to do that. You go have a crutch in the fight, bro. Now Ryan Garcia is handicapped in the fight. It's, we're going to see if Ryan Garcia can get through it. Because now I'm interested in seeing how Ryan Garcia performs in, on fight night. How he looks the week of the fight. <laughs> weak should be the main word. Because this shit was weak, bro. No matter how you slice it. No matter how you try to spend it. Oh, well, Canelo did it. Well, he's weak too for that shit, bro. Shit's weak, dog. Why are you fighting him? So, 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 if you was to fight Devin Haney, because I heard the WBA... Making sure that fight's next. If you fight De Devin Haney, what you going to try to do to him? Weight drain him too? Because he's a big lightweight as well. Come on, Tank. And then not to mention all the smaller fighters that you brought up to beat up on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look. I'm Tank Davis fan. But I can't condone the rehydration clause that he put on Ryan Garcia. Because now it's not necessarily a fair fight in my mind. Not, not in my mind, I know... That this Ryan Garcia, there's a high probability that he's going to come into that fight weight drained. And he's it's, it's, it's just going to be an easy, this is going to be a, almost a, a guaranteed victory. It's almost like the fight is already hard enough as it is. Why make it even harder? Like, just make, shoot the fair one, bro. Like, maybe I'm just old school. Maybe that's just me. 
But the whole rehydration clause on the guy that's in your weight class who fought in the weight class, the same weight class as you fought in. You both fought at 140. You both fought at 135. It's not like Ryan Garcia is a junior middleweight coming down two weight classes to meet you at 136 and nothing like that. Nah, bro. It, it, it's no, no, not even a, it's not even a one, it's not, he's not even a 147 pounder coming to meet you. Nah, not really. You know what I'm saying? If he's a young guy that can still make 136, 135, even 140. I mean, you can make 140 as well. What's the issue, bro? So now it's a built-in excuse for Ryan Garcia. And then a lot of Tank fans are going to have to defend it if he gets that victory April 22nd. But yeah, man, you heard what Tank Davis said. In my opinion, it don't sound like he's 100% confident that he could beat this guy. So to make sure, we're going to make sure he's the weakest version of himself as possible. We're going to make sure he don't have no fights in between. And we're going to make this thing a nightmare for Ryan Garcia. Like and subscribe. Hide your boy. Peace out.